In this lecture, we'll take a look at the demo of cloud source repositories. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a repository and then we are going to push it to App Engine for deployment and then we are going to change the repository and redeploy it again. So first step, go to cloud.google.com, log into the right account. If you're not done so, click on the top right corner to change into the correct account. Now let's click on go to console. So for this, we have to enable one API. So let's go to APIs and services library and search for cloud source, cloud source repositories API. Go into this, click on enable. The other thing we also have to do is go to go to the project main page. And if you have an app engine, then go into that and go to settings and click on enable application. If you do not have uh, app engine in the se settings, you can al always search for app engine and go to app engine settings and make sure it is enabled. Okay, now let's open the Google Cloud Shell. Now, the steps are there in a the text file. So first step is we are going to create a cloud repository named Hello World. So G Cloud Source Repos create Hello World. So this creates a repository called Hello World. And next step is to clone the content of that cloud repository into our local Cloud Shell. If you're using Google SDK, it will clone into your local Git on your local laptop. Okay, so now we have a directory called hello world. Go into hello world, say cd space h and just type tab or just give cd space hello world. Let's get into this directory. Now we are going to create a Python script that prints hello world in the browser window. So let's create the code for the Python. So that's cat greater than cat space greater than main.py. So we are doing a bit of a shortcut here. You can use a VI editor or something to create the content of this main.py. But what I'm going to do is whatever I type here will get into main.py. So paste this code as it is exactly. No additional spaces. Press Control D, D for dog, and verify the file. So cat main.py should list exactly the same thing. If it's different, no worries. Just go back here and do this step again and paste this again. It will override the content of the file. So the next step is to create a app.yml file that contains configuration information needed to deploy the code to app engine. So cat greater than app.yml. Again, similar to main.py, we are using a shortcut to create this deployment file. Press control D. Verify the contents. Make sure it's good. Okay, now we have to push this from our local repository to the cloud source repository. So git add dot is the first step. We are adding all the files in the current directory to be pushed. Next, we have to configure email and username. This enables to identify who did the commits, etc. So bootcamp7 at gmail.com and name. So give your name as well. And now committing the file is straightforward git commit dash m and then commit comments. You can give whatever comments you want. And then finally, we are pushing this from the cloud shell to the cloud source directory. So git push origin master master is the name of the branch. Okay, so 
it has been pushed to this particular repository. So now you can click on this directly to go to the repository. Google does keep changing your account. So you have to click on the top right corner to go to your correct account. And here you can see the commit with the author name, as well as you can see the files here, you click on the files, you can go to the exact files. And here you can search for code, specific code keywords or even files in everything, this project, this repository, this directory. So this is like a total uh, GitHub type thing. So you can explore here. This is the hello world repository. This is the master branch, etc. You can also get to this from cloud source repositories service as well. And you can click on go to cloud source repositories. Again, you have to do a change your account here. You might have to change the project here. So, and go to hello world It's the same thing. Okay, moving on, let's deploy the app here. So it's very simple, gcloud app deploy app.yml. So let's give that and see what happens. Say yes. And cool, your app is deployed. Now, if you get an error, uh, sometimes it happens, some GIA propagation error, just try the same command again. So you can type gcloud app browse. and you will get the URL and you can click on this URL and hello world is displayed. So this is the Python program that we deployed to App Engine, but we deployed it from our cloud source repository. So that's pretty cool. Now let's change this. So we want to change the local repository, push it to the cloud source repository and redeploy. So let's see how that works. Now, of course, you can go in here and change directly. So you can you can go to edit code and change as well. If you want to directly change in the repository, you have to give appropriate commits, etc. But what we are going to do is we are going to change in our local repository and then push it again. So let's see how that works. So you can use a VI editor, but for simplicity, I'm going to just simply overwrite main.py and instead of hello world, the message here is goodbye moon. So everything else remains the same. Control D, D for dog. So I've changed the file. I've just changed one line in fact here. So we just want to add this main.py to the repository to overwrite. And we are committing with a comment saying update main.py to say goodbye moon. And let's push this. Okay, so it is pushed. So if we go here into the cloud source repository, and let's click into the main branch, and now you can see an additional commit update main.py to say goodbye moon. And if we click on view here and go to a particular file, you can see the new code, which is goodbye moon. Make sure you're clicked into this. If you click, if you click here, for example, it will show you this commit. If you click here, obviously it's going to show you this commit, the files in this commit. Now, if you, you can also do things like diff, you'll, and if you do a diff here, you can see the difference between this and this, and you can see that this line has been modified. So that's pretty cool. Now we have updated the repository. So how do we deploy it? Again, straightforward, same gcloud app deploy 
app.yml and again we can views, view it using gcloud app browse and now we should see the new message goodbye moon if this doesn't come up immediately uh, just refresh after a few minutes sometimes it takes a bit to refresh so that's quite cool okay now clean up so first let's go into our repository let us delete this repository next also go to our main project page and go to storage let's click on let's delete all these storage buckets that have been created and then finally go to your app engine go to settings and disable application now we'll look at how to reset the cloud shell to remove the files that you have created so for example as part of utilizing this or other demos you might have created a lot of files so you can see that there's some files here then if you go back one step you can see that there are many files that we have created as part of updating or deploying the cloud shell so the steps to reset the cloud shell are very straightforward so there are only two commands so ls space dash a home and then sudo rm dash rf dollar home and then click on the three dots here and then click on restart you can give an optional um, response as to why you want to restart but it's not essential i want a clean vm state click on restart this might take a minute or two and then once you get back into your cloud shell you will see that all the files etc have been deleted and your cloud shell is back in its original state as if when you have first created your cloud shell okay so that was a quick demo of google cloud repositories or cloud source repositories thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture